Dead to Me is a new series on Netflix starring Christina Applegate, uh, Linda Cardellini and James Marsden. Uh, it's 10 episodes each half an hour long. Um, it's about a woman who is grieving because her husband has recently been killed by a hit and run driver. Um, it's not a big spoiler to reveal that that's Linda Cardellini and James Marsden as they were out driving one day and you see this in sort of bits of flashbacks throughout the series. They um, they soon become friends at a grief group, um, Linda Cardellini and Chris Applegate, and she ends up with Linda Cardellini's character moving in. Um, and then for the next sort of eight to nine episodes, you just end up with a very meh program. Uh, there's no real good comedy in it, whether it's black humour or not. Um, I didn't find there to be anything particularly compelling or real drama about it. There's no thriller element to it. It's just a very, very meh. It's not even slow to the point of being so bad you want to turn it off. It sort of just slow rolls you where you're you're watching it and you think if something good might happen in a minute, I'll just, just keep watching it because it's only half hour long an episode. And then you get past the point of no return where you go, well I'm not going to give up on it now because there's only two or three episodes to go. And I feel almost like I was conned into watching it a little bit by my own sort of human nature. Um, it's just, it feels like it's two se they're trying to get two seasons out of one season's worth of material. And if they packed in everything that they are likely to pack into a second season and this is into the first one, then it'd be a great show or it'd be much better. But I think because they're trying to stretch it, because they don't really, they've got an idea, but once they make certain reveals in the story about her being the killer and then there's a twist at the end of the last episode where, sorry spoilers, but um, Christian Applegate ends up killing James Marston. Um, you think, well this that should have come mid-season and then they should have had other things um, happen thereafter. Uh, it would have been much better, but it's just it's just not. It's I see people have called it addictive watching, it's not. There's much better shows, watch you, it's much better. Um, and that's something, where, that's the show where they're not afraid to have big events occur and things go on all within the first season or halfway through the series. Um, it's just very meh. I've written in my notes here, meh, because no one's a bad actor in it, everyone acts perfectly fine, it's just really, really diluted writing, um, and yeah, I don't think I'll be tuning in for the second series. If you are really a fan of any of the actors in it, then by all means watch it, but it's not even sort of a gentle watch, it's just sort of a waste of time, really. Um, so yeah, uh, Dead to Me, not really worth the time or effort unless you are 100% on board with these actors and really have to see everything they're in.